In this Cadence tutorial, we're going to go over getting Elementor page spacing correctly. This is just making sure your Elementor design pages look excellent in the Cadence theme. It's actually very easy to do, and I'm going to show you how in this video. Here I am on a brand new, fresh WordPress installation, and I have the Cadence theme installed, and I have Elementor. So I'm going to go to Pages, and I'll click on Add New, and I will name this page Home. Now I'll click on Publish, and then I'll click on Publish again to confirm. Next, I'll click on Edit with Elementor. Now that I'm into Elementor, I'm going to use one of their page templates, so let's just choose this one. It actually doesn't matter. It can be any of these page templates. Looks like I have to connect to the template library since this is a fresh website. I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, I connected it in and you can see the template is now applied and it looks pretty good here. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on update and then let's go ahead and exit to dashboard and let's view this on the front end. So I'm gonna click on permalink and then here's the link to view the page. And you see here, it just looks perfect automatically. Everything is formatted perfectly. More specifically, what I'm looking at is for the page to look full width from edge to edge on the left and right and no additional spacing underneath the header so I'm just seeing my header here there's no extra bit of spacing and then when I scroll to the footer down here there's no extra spacing there as well what happens is the cadence theme will notice when you create a page and then open up Elementor and it will adjust a bunch of settings that are required in order for it to look like this. Now I'm gonna show you what those settings are in the case that you didn't start using Elementor on the page and the settings didn't apply automatically. Here I am back on the page we just created. Now to access the page settings, you'll click on this icon right here that says page settings and we'll see them all. So the first one is the page title is disabled. What this is is a section at the top of your page that will say the title of the page. You want that disabled. Next, under page layout, you want this set to full width. This is what allows Elementor based designs to go from edge to edge. So you want this to say full width. For content style, you'll want to set that to unboxed. For content vertical padding, you'll want that disabled and also show featured Im image disabled. These are the settings that automatically get set for you the minute you open up a page inside of Elementor. Now, optionally, there's another way to accomplish this. So if I click on the settings wheel right here, and right here it says page attributes, I'll click on that, and you can see where it says template, it says default template. But if you set this to Elementor full width, it will also accomplish the same thing. So if you try to create a page in Elementor and it looks like this, and you notice there's spacing here, there's spacing on the left and right that shouldn't be there, just go back into your page settings for that page and double check those settings. Remember, page layout needs to say full width. In this case, content style is now on boxed, but that needs to be on unboxed. And that is what you're generating that spacing. So if I click on update and then I go to this page and I click on refresh, you can see that it completely went away. And this is how you typically want your Elementor page to work edge to edge from top to bottom. And that's all there is to getting your Elementor mentor page spacing right using the cadence theme like you saw it's going to automatically sense that you're creating a page using elementor and set those for you and in the case that it doesn't just go to the page settings and you can select those options i showed you alternatively you could go to page attributes and set it to elementor full width and it will accomplish the same thing that's it for this video if it helped you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more Cadence theme tutorials.